Good morning, Grace family. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Gabe Myers. I'm one of the pastors at Grace and would like to share some thoughts with you this morning. And I'd just like to start out by reading this passage out of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, uh, verse 18. It says, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. We fix our eyes on what is n not seen. We, we fix our eyes on what is eternal. It makes me reminds me of another verse in Colossians uh, that says, if, if you've been raised up with Christ, set your mind on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above. As I think about last week here in the Estacada, uh, Sandy, Gresham area, I was driving home from Gresham Wednesday afternoon and uh, the smoke over Estacada or behind Estacada just started to rise and you could see it. Drove to Sandy uh, and that smoke was still big. Uh, Friday By Friday afternoon, we were actually out on the river and the smoke started coming in. You could see this wall of smoke come in. With it, these crazy winds. Anyway, by Saturday night, um, we, had, we evacuated Sandy. We left. Not everybody left, but a number of people in this area left. The smoke was just a bit too much and it was like, why stay here? Why breathe it in? Why have my kids breathe it in if we can go somewhere else? We drove to Spokane and the entire way from here, five hours to Spokane, was in smoke. It was very strange. What's interesting about these times is how quickly life can change. I think about COVID. We went from life being normal to, you know, over the weekend, life just shuts down. You stay at home. And uh, with, with the fires, what's interesting is how quickly things can be taken away. You know, we had to leave and you had to think about what's most important. What are some things you can pack in a bag, put in your car and drive away? My wife actually went down to pick up a few things from my in-laws who live in Eagle Creek. It took her two hours to drive out uh, from Eagle Creek to Sandy, what would normally take 10, 10 to 15 minutes because of all the people leaving leaving from the fires. Perspective. What are the things we focus on? What are the things that we think about? The things that take up our thoughts? The things that we speak? What are the things that, um, what language do we use? How do we use our words? Do we use them to build people up? Or do we use them to tear people down? The way we use our time do we use our time wisely? Do we use our time uh, in things that matter? Or do we just kind of let it, you know, uh, drain? How do we use our resources? When I think about what we packed in our car, obviously I packed my wife and our kids. And, um, and the are some bags, we had a few documents, some things that we thought were important. But over the past few days to think about what's really important. And I just wanna encourage you this week to think about what's important. Think about what really matters. Um, at the end of the day, we're packing our bags to go and be with Jesus, to spend life um, in a new heaven and a new earth where we can't take the stuff we have here with us. But there are so many things that we can take. There are people around us that need to hear the gospel, need to hear the truth of the love of Jesus so that they can evacuate from a world that is perishing to be in a kingdom that lasts forever. So I just want to encourage you this week, take some time, pray, Spend some time in God's presence. That's really valuable. You won't, those memories will, will never disappear. They're, they have eternal value. Um, but just spend some time uh, with God. Spend some time loving people. Spend some time serving others. Enjoy life, but fear God. So I just want to leave you with that thought.